What's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. And uh, today we're going to do a little special uh, called uh, Jim Bob's Commentary and Adventures. Uh, believe it or not. Uh, the other day uh, I got an email from my brother. Uh, he likes to fish and I like to fish. And uh, he... Uh, sent me in this email and I uh, thought I'd just share it to you, it's kind of funny, and uh, then I'd uh, tell you about uh, my adventure. Uh, anyways, uh, in the email said that he'd been fishing on the bank and, uh, and really doing good, and uh, he'd run out of bait. And so uh, he's trying to contemplate on what to do about it, and so uh, he uh, I looked over on down the river a little bit and he saw a, a water moccasin, a big old water moccasin, and the water moccasin had a frog in his mouth. And uh, so he sat there a while and he uh, contemplated and uh, he said, well, I think I'll go over there and uh, get that water moccasin. He's got the frog in his mouth so he can't bite me. And I'll get that frog out and use it for bait. And so that's what he did. He went over there and he grabbed that water moccasin around the neck and uh, picked him up and he was flopping all over the place and uh, he got the frog out of his mouth. Well, then he thought, oh my lord, and I got the frog and he put the frog in the bait bucket. And uh, he said, well, what am I going to do now? You know, I don't want to get bit by this water moccasin. He's mean now, he's mad and everything. I took the frog away from him and stuff like that. And so uh, he thought for a second and then he reached down and he got a bottle of whiskey he had with him and he poured a bunch of whiskey down the, fro the snake's uh, throat and the snake got all glazy eyed and all that stuff and limp and everything and uh, so then he dropped him down and uh, in the water and uh, he didn't get bit so he continued on to fish and uh, with the frog and stuff like that and so he was fishing there a while, a while longer and all of a sudden he felt a nudge down on his feet he looked down there and there was the water moccasin and the water moccasin had another frog in his mouth I think that's something. Well, that got me to thinking, you know. He said, I like to fish on the river too, but I fish in a canoe. And so I was fishing on a river not too long ago. And this is how I do it. See, I, I have a system down how I do my fishing. And uh, the way I do it is like this I, uh, I canoe up a river upstream. It's a slow river. And so I'm canoeing up the river, fishing a little bit, and uh, I come to a shady spot underneath the overhanging tree, and I pull over in there and I fish right there a little while and I drink a little while, you know, I drink me a little whiskey. And uh, so I sip a little and fish a little and sip a little and fish a little. So then I go on up a little bit further and fish along and uh, come up to another shady spot and I uh, fish a little and sip a little and fish a little and sip a little. And I'm going up another spot and all so on and so on and so forth. Well, okay, well one day I was in the river and uh, I'd been fishing and I fished up about three miles and I'd been up there a good, good little while. It was hotter than Dickens and everything and uh, and the river was down real low and so there's this spot I go to where uh, one river meets another when the two come together. And uh, I like to go up there because uh, on the one side there's a big old fishing deep hole got a lot of mud fish in it and I like to go up there and uh, fish so I was headed towards that. Okay so uh, I'm a real quiet paddler. I paddle real quiet when I'm in the river and because I get to see a lot of animals that way. So anyhow I come up around the bend. Now you got to visualize this. You see I'm coming up around the bend and the bend's gonna turn like this right here and it's blind. You can't see around that bend and uh, until you get right to it. And uh, so, as I said, the river was really low, and the bank on that right-hand side over there was about 10 feet high before it got down to the water. Now, sometimes when the water's high up there, it'll only be two or three feet, but to that day, it was about 10 feet high. Well, I come around that bend, and no sooner had I come around that bend, and I see an alligator come flying off of that bank. He was six foot long, and he was flying uh, through the air, it was the darnest thing I ever seen. It looked to me like, now I don't know, uh, something red flashing on his back. He was a black alligator with this uh, sort of like a flashing red thing on his back. And in the water he went, chuck him, and he was gone. I thought, well, my gosh, that was something to see. I'll tell you, I really like that. 
but I've never seen one with no red fleshy thing on it. But anyhow, but that was pretty cool. And uh, so I went on around there, and then uh, as you go around this way, then you got to come back around that way, and that's the, uh, the big hole is right there. And uh, lo and behold, I look up there on the land, and uh, on the sunny side of the bank, and there's a fella uh, laying on the bank in a black suit, and he had black horn rimmed glasses on. And, uh, and he was just laying on the bank. He wasn't sitting or nothing. And I went over there, I canoed up to him, kind of slow, kind of cautious, you know. And I uh, got up to him and I said, uh, hey, fellow, I says, are you all right? And he's kind of looking, he's nervous looking, you know, kind of nervous. And uh, he said, yeah, I'm all right. He said, uh, I'm just uh, you know, laying here sunning myself. I said, well, it's kind of a funny place out here. It's the middle of nowhere to sun yourself on the side of the bank. I said, you know, I just saw a big old six-foot gator, about as big as you are. Uh, jumped in the water right over there. You better get off of that bank. I could come up there and get you. He said, oh, I ain't afraid of gators. I said, no, okay. I said, well, look, my name's Jim Bob. What's your name? And he said, uh, well, my name, is, uh, people call me uh, 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 CK. He called me CK for short. And he said, that's all you need to know. I said, okay, CK. I said, uh, how about that? I said, well, uh, look, uh, CK, um, uh, what's that little red uh, thing on the back of your neck collar like, thing there? Kind of like this. something needs to be tucked in or something or like that. Uh, when I said that, he got all nervous and he slid right down into the water. And boom, he was gone. I thought, Lord, he must have fell in the water. I said, CK, CK, you need help. CK, he never come back up. I seen some bubbles on the bottom, but he never come back up. So I was hollering and seeking. I was, I wasn't going to jump in. Normally I'd jump right in and save his life, you know, because I'm a hero. But no, I ain't going to jump in there when I just seen a big six foot alligator in there. I ain't going to do it. I was CK, CK. And he ain't done nothing. I just see the little bubbles and that was it. And I, well, he might have been drowned. I said, I better call on the sheriff. So I got my cell phone and I uh, opened it up and I dialed a 911 on it. And a uh, girl come on the phone and she said, uh, this is 911, what's your emergency? I said, well, this is Jim Bob. I said, you might have heard of me. I have Jim Bob's commentary channel. I said, I'm out here in the river. I said, and a fellow I just slid off the bank in the water and there's a big old alligator in here and I'm worried about him. We're going to get that up by the alligator and everything. I said, I'd save him normally. You wouldn't have to be bothered with me. But I said, uh, I'm scared of the alligator. I ain't going to jump in there with that big alligator and everything. And, and the woman said, uh, no, no uh, sir, where are you located? And I said, I'm located where uh, Olsley River in uh, Santa Fe meet. I said, I'm right up in there above 75. I said, you easy to find me. I said, you send a helicopter in here right away and get this fellow out of here. Because I'm telling you, he's been in the water quite a while now. Probably drowned. She said, sir. I said, have you been drinking? I said, what that got to do with anything? She said, sir, have you been drinking? I said, well, yeah, I've had a sip or two today. She said, uh, how many sip or twos have you had? I said, uh, well, let me look. I looked at the bottle. I said, well, there's about two sips left in this uh, J.D. bottle. She said, sir, uh, are you pulling uh, a joke on me? I said, no, sir. I, no, ma'am. I said, uh, this fellow's out here. You need to hear him come. His name is C.K. And I said, he's got horn ring glasses and he has a suit on. I don't know why he had a suit on in the hot out here like that, but he said, suit on like that. And she hung up on me. And I said, I, I don't know what else to do. I went on back home and nobody had to try to help poor old fella. And so uh, that's all I got to tell you about my story. I don't know what else to say. A poor fella probably still a bit by the alligator. Jim Bob's out.